Hello everyone. In the previous video, we successfully uh, created our auth layout and uh, here now the time is to set these both of the C CSS and JS file. So let's get started. So first of, all, first of all, we need to set this image path, right? So before this, I'm going to remove this uh, from this title. So we are going to say that it's a auth dashboard, right? It's because we are going to create the administrator dashboard. Okay, so here we need to uh, call the asset method, right? So first we need to add the mustache sign and then we need to call the asset method. So this asset uh, method looks by default in this public directory, right? So you don't need to specify the name like uh, uh, first you need to define the public, then you need to specify others. So we are directly in the public. So then uh, after this public, we can define this so assets because I want to look into this asset directory and then in the asset, I'm going to look into the auth and then in the auth, I'm going to uh, open this auth and here I'm going to go to this images and then I'm going to locate this image. So let me paste the image path. So I copied this. So remove this assets. So I uh, type this asset auth and then after this I'm going to this images directory. So let me open this images directory so you can understand it better. So this one is the images directory and then there is a favicon right, right this one favicon dot ico right. So it's this one. So let's save this one and go to the go to our project and here we are going to open this into our uh, open it into the web browser. So let's go to the project and prepare route for it. So let's uh, go here and oops, not webpack. So I'm going to open the web.php file. So let's open it. So click on this and yes. So here I'm going to render my layout file. So what is the name of our layout file? It's a auth layout file, right? So it's located in the layout. So let me type the layout and then it's located in the auth. So we are opening this, uh, this auth blade, right? So in the home page, I'm going to load this one. So now it will open the auth dashboard for us. So it's basically weird stuff because we did not set its path, right? And it will load this uh, favicon at the top and uh, wait for a moment. So it's take some time. So now let's set other paths, right? So for now we don't have any uh, other paths set. So let's go back and here we are going to set our other path. So you can also check that is this uh, edit, uh, is this working or not? So let's click on this control U or you can also do this uh, by using, uh, you can also view page source, right? Uh, like this and then you can click on this so if it will open so it means that your path is correct and if it will it will not open so it means that your path is wrong so if i uh, open it uh, uh, if i click on it so it will uh, throw us that not found why because we did not set this path so let's go back and set its path so let me close this out and go back and here we are going to first uh, uh, call the asset method and then we are going to add the auth here. So let me uh, uh, make this for one file. So here I'm going to add the mustache sign and then I'm going to add this uh, asset. I'm, uh, I pasted it here and then I'm going to add this auth here. So now our this uh, route is uh, this uh, uh, path is good. So let's go here and uh, let's click on this control you so it will open this uh, for us so let's click on this it will open this file in the web browser so it's mean that our uh, file path is correct so it's going to open it so let's take an and yes our gs is loaded here so it means that our path is correct right so i'm going to do this for all of the ones uh, behind the scenes so i'm going to save your time so i'm coming back Okay, so I have prepared all the CSS, uh, the CSS path, and then I have also prepared these images path. So the strategy is same. You need to call this so asset, asset method, and then you need to track your images. And then this is the also same for JS. So let me go to down, down, down. And here, here you need to specify your uh, asset, uh, asset helper and then you need to track your file. So let me go here 
and yes these are images one and these are the all of the js file so let's save this one and go to the web browser again and give it a refresh so wait for a moment and yes it's now successfully loaded all of uh, all of our project right so our project is there so you can also change the dark mode here so let's click on this so oh our functionality is large so let's give it a refresh i don't know what's happened so let's give it a refresh and it's still uh, it's loading as our files are not loaded but uh, actually our files are loaded so let's go to the incognito mode so i think there is issue there is issue due to this cache so let's go here and give it a refresh and uh, yes our theme is loaded so let's click on it and uh, click on this dark mode and still our functionality is loading oh i think it's uh, due to this one let's go back let me open this uh, local host 8000 give it a refresh okay great so whenever i'm clicking oh it's also caching so let's click uh, let me close this out and open this again so it's not going to happen again right so let's go here and open localhost 8000 it's having due to caching issue so in your case it will not happen okay so now it's loading so when i'm clicking on it so it's uh, having some problem due to caching issues in your case it's not going to happen right so hope you get an idea that how you can integrate this into your uh, um, dashboard into your project and then how you can uh, change your css and js pause so i will meet you in the next one bye bye